Sexy Beauty Symbols. Welcome back to the channel. Now, this video um, hmm, is taking me by surprise, actually. This is the first impressions, first makeup look that I'm using the Fenty Beauty. Now, let me tell you the backstory on how Fenty Beauty came around. Rihanna contacted me and she wanted to use Fancy Beauty. <laughs> I'm kidding guys, seriously though. Um, but my first glance at this palette was absolutely amazing. And I'll talk more about it in the video as I'm, you know, putting together the look and everything like that. There's going to be some rough patches <laughs> in achieving this look right here. So don't give up, guys. Keep watching and you'll get to the end and you'll see that it all came together. And I am actually a bit proud of how it turned out. So you guys have to let me know uh, what you think as well. Until next time, I will see you in another video. Please stay blessed. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like the video, comment down below, and hit that notification bell also so that you don't miss an upload from me and we can stay connected as much as possible. Other than that, enjoy the video and I will see you soon. And always stay Fancy Beauty. Bye, guys. Welcome back to the channel, Fancy Beauty Symbols. It's Gina, of course. And I'm coming in with a wonderful video, I hope. <laughs> so I went to Sephora, bam. And I went to check on the foundation for Fenty Beauty. And I went on last Friday, so yeah, I'm way behind. But anyway, while I was in there, they didn't have my color, and I, I was tested for color 440, but I don't think that that's gonna be the right shade for me. I'm thinking maybe 420 would be the right shade for me, but I'm gonna go ahead and um, get into this video. So as I was looking for the makeup, the lady said, we've got her collection in and it just came in today. And guess what was in my face? <laughs> so needless to say, the packaging is off the chain. Really pretty. The letters are in glitter. And I am that one that's into packaging. So Rihanna did her thing on this, okay? So let's get into the palette. Oh, oh this is my first time opening this, guys. Oh. Is that not the most beautiful design and color? I love things like this. Oh my gosh. I, I, I got fingerprint on it, but oh my gosh, that is so pretty. And then when you open it, whoo, when you open it, oh my gosh, when you open it, Ooh, when you open it, look at those beautiful colors. Can you see the beauty in this? So, now, I'm not going to sit here and say, you know, I don't mind having uh, all shimmer palette. Because when I looked at it, I was like, oh my God, it took my breath away. First of all, it did. It took my breath away. And I was like, oh my God, that is so pretty. And I swatched the blue one and I swatched this gold one over here. The gold one, 
It made me buy it because it's so close to Trophy Wife. It made me buy it. Buy it. It was $60 and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get in trouble spending $60 on a freaking palette. It's only 14 colors. I'm gonna do it though. <laughs> so I did it. And I hope I'm not disappointed. I did look at a couple reviews on YouTube and it's mixed reviews. So I'm gonna go ahead and get right into this video. Um, I'm trying to think if I want to just do one eye first, just so I know, you know, kind of which way to go with the look, but I think it'll be more fun if you guys see the struggle and go through it with me. So let's go ahead and get started. I've already got my eyebrows done. I've already, um, did the, you know, concealer and and all of that jazz so all I need to do now is go in with my base and I'm taking the NYX to do that and I'm just gonna put that all over up into my crease Now, I already have um, liner underneath my lower lash line. Um, this is kind of an impromptu video, kind of, sort of speak. Um, I got, my day got interrupted. Oh, I'm, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so feeling away about what happened. So, okay, I'm gonna tell you guys. So, you know, I'm off Friday, Saturday, and I'm in uh, crafts class. And uh, I take crafts class from eight in the morning to 12 in the, in the afternoon. And then I start my shift. And it's running from, you know, Sunday to Wednesday. I'm off Friday, Saturday. So, you know, I did a little running around on yesterday. And this is this past Friday, not the Friday that I got the palette. So, <clears throat> I said I'm going to just chill out on Saturday. I'm going to rest and, you know, because I know I got a busy a, another busy week coming up. This is the third week for crafts class. So I'm gonna go in with this color first and then that color next for my transition color. So anyway, I'm relaxing, shooting a breeze, just me and Sherry, right? And here I hear a car pull up and it's my landlord now I showed you guys that garage he put out there right so you know your girl was thinking oh that's so nice he you know put a garage up for me you know so my car will be you know shielded and protected from the snow huh. No, he put the garage up for his trinkets. Okay, you heard me right. He put it up for his trinkets and didn't tell me in advance. I didn't find out until everything was done. So he said, well, no, I'm, that's for me. And you know, I put my car in there and I put my, um, hitch for my, my boat in there. I'm like, okay, whatever. So, he starts popping up. And don't tell me when he coming over here. And I asked him before, I said, I need for you to let me know when you coming over here you know, so I can 
be prepared, you know, because a lot of time if I'm lounging around the house, I'm not going to put any clothes on. I'm going to have my, my jammies on. So he said, okay, no problem. He pops up again, second time. Now today he popped up, you know, and you know, his wife was with him the second time he popped up. Today he popped up and she was with him as well. So I said, okay. I figured, you know, they come, come, do what they need to do in the garage and be gone. I ain't got to worry about it. So I got to cooking my breakfast and, you know, gonna hop back in the bed and, you know, eat my breakfast in bed. Well, honey, he come knocking on the door. And I said, I was gonna get up and go answer the door. I said, no, I ain't. <laughs> no, I ain't. I'm not answering the door. So I let him knock. He called the phone. I let the phone ring. So he left a message, said he was coming back. Okay. And he wanted me to move my car so he can do something. I don't know what he needed to do, but he wanted my car moved. So. No, I was in that mode because I felt like you disrespecting me. This is where I pay my rent. You know, can I get some respect around here? So, um, all right, I think that's good. So, I texted him back, told him I wasn't here. I told him uh, somebody else was here uh, and they was watching the house for me. And he had to come back when I'm here. So a couple hours went by and I wanted to go wash clothes today. Um, I'm going into my exposed palette and I'm using this color here. And here they come, back here again. So I said, I'm taking my clothes out to the car. And um, I said, you lucky uh, I'm here because, you know, I just get back. So I said, you guys need to let me know in advance when you coming back here so I can make arrangements uh, for your arrival. And I was steaming. I was steaming. And here go the wife talking about something. Oh, you're magically here now. I, I didn't even address her, guys, because uh, if I had, they probably would be putting me out of here. Uh, because how would you like it if if I come popping up at your place unannounced you wouldn't like it so why would you do it to somebody you know and I'm sitting here and I'm thinking about it right now right and I'm feeling like that wasn't a Christian thing to do but at the end of the day, I'm still a human being and I deserve to be treated with respect. A lot of times people think just because you love the Lord and you live in the life of the Lord and you live in the righteous life, that that means, oh, I could just walk all over you. No, no, and I've said this before, that's not what that means. And I don't appreciate you thinking that. So, yeah guys, that's what happened. And I don't know, you know, how to feel about it. I don't know if I did the right thing or, you know, what. But if I'm asking you 
a couple times to not come over here, just pop up. You know, let me know you coming. At least the respect you can give to me is to to honor that. I'm just saying. Because where I'm from, you don't just pop up. Because you're going to be standing out there. And that's what I did to him today. I'm going to let you stand out there. So, I don't know. Maybe I have another talk with them. Because really, I don't do business with the wife. All my... All my interactions have been with the husband. So, you know, she don't know me like that. So y'all tell me what would y'all have done? And what should I do at this point? Okay, guys. So, I kind of want to go in some more with a deeper... deeper brown and I'm gonna take this and I'm using um, unbranded or you know drugstore products because I want to see how the palette's gonna uh, react with it so I'm gonna use this brown right here for the out of B and maybe bring it into the um, crease a bit just to give it a little bit more definition because y'all should know what color I'm going to put in the middle. There you go. That's what I was looking for. All right. So now, I'm gonna go back in with my Juvia palette and take that color here and go back over that and blend those lines. Oh. All right, that's about right. So now Hold on. Needed my uh, glitter glue. So I'm gonna take that and put a little bit on the middle. Y'all comment down below if y'all know what color I'm about to use. And then middle, mobile lid. So let that get tacky a bit. And then we going in. going in with that gold color and I am going to use my finger Oh, oh. 
that is breathtaking. Riri. Oh, Riri. Oh, Riri. Mm, mm, mm. That is so, so pretty. Oh my gosh. Hold up. Hold up. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna blend y'all. Just hold up. Hold up. Okay, y'all. So, um, I'm still feeling like I want to add something else. Like, I picked this blue. And then I picked this blue. And I picked this blue. And I want to go with this blue. The only thing is, I don't know if it's going to act right. And I don't want to mess up this look. Let me, let me try and work this off camera. And I'll be right back. Okay guys, so what I did is I took this blue retractable pencil first and put my liner and then I went in with the Wet n Wild. Um, so let's see if I can duplicate it on the other eye on camera. <sighs> It looks messy right now, but I'm gonna work it out. All right, now I'm gonna take the black and go right underneath. And I'm just pressing it in. All right, so I'm gonna use these lashes and they're number 119, just from the local beauty supply store. So I'm gonna pop these on and I'll be right back. All right, fancy beauties and balls, I'm back in here. I get my lashes on, I put my foundation on. So we're gonna go ahead and go into highlighting and contouring. Um, I gotta work that lower lash line as well. So, how about, uh, I'm using um, Maybelline. Fit Me Concealer. All right, so for the eyes, I kind of want to make them a little sultry. So I'm going to take my black pencil and just go underneath.
concealer and I'm using Maybelline uh, yeah Maybelline fit me setting powder and I am enjoying this it's a very nice powder now while that's sitting just a little while uh, let's figure out we going to do with these luscious colors. Hmm. How about we take a little bit of this color here and that is Jupiter sand and we just gonna put that right in the tear duct area hmm? what you think all right let's brush this off Now let's get a little contouring done. And of course, y'all know I'm going to use my Holy Grail, which is the Cover Girl. All right guys, so now we're gonna take some e.l.f. and I think brighten it up a little bit and use this. Okay. Now we're gonna go in with some highlight and I'm gonna take Elf for that as well. And I'm gonna see how this color is gonna show up on me. All right, now for the lippy, and I have been using this lip combo for the last couple of days. It's so pretty. So I use 920, oh wait a minute, 9270, no, it is 927B. Y'all know I can't see. Uh, not to, nice to fuchsia. And this is the wet and wild. So I like to put this first. This is the color. Now, you could stop here and just be all right. But, we're going to let that dry down just a little bit. Oh, that's so pretty. Isn't that a pretty color, guys? All right, so we're gonna let that dry down. Let's see if I can help it. Out of fact, we'll go ahead and powder. Set everything. Now, we're gonna take a Candy Yum Yum and put that right in the middle. That's nice. Love that lip combo. All right, let me get my hair together. Maybe change it. I'm not sure yet. And it'll be modelization time. 
So I'll see you over there.